Kivi kori za Nivam vuči cipete Vim kira kovi rađije I jamba sun su mubare U musa curi kumotke Ihabwe cyubahiro kubwa rino turo mutanze uwiteka abagire neza mu izina rya Yesu
Isabato nziza. Isabato nziza. Can you check around your neighbor? If they look like they're almost sleeping, tell them, please, it's time. Wake up. Mbese ware wa mugenzi wae wabona yasinziriye ukamubwira uti gihe kirageze kanguka Tell them the Lord is going to speak to you wake up Mubwira uti uwiteka giye kukuvugisha none kanguka It is not me it is the Lord Ntabwo ari nje ahubwo ni uwiteka Happy Sabbath Isabato nziza I want to praise the Lord Ndashaka ko mushima Imana It is my first time to stand here to come to this church and let me tell you, I have gone to Tanzania, I've gone to Kenya to preach, I've gone to Uganda to preach, but one thing I love. God's people are God's people. As soon as I just entered the parking, I just felt like God's people are here. Amen. I praise the Lord for the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Wherever you go, you go to Japan. You go to South Korea. You go to India. You will find God's people. God's people, how are you? I want to thank a Javelin for, the, for organizing this program and for the invitation. Let me tell you, I was asking my brother, this church is full of young people. How? It is full of young people. You know, I come from Auka and I think we have many young people there. I have gone to bilingual and I think they have many young people there. But listen, when I came here, bro, I was like, hey. I was I was waiting for a muse to come and say, hey, hey, please welcome. <laughs> so young people coming to the front. Amen. Amen. When you see a church with young people, that church is strong. That church will stay for a long, long, long time. That church has a future. I want to thank the Lord for Javelin. And the other choir is the Holy Angels. Amen. Amen. Thank you for praising the Lord. And I want to thank the Lord in advance. In advance. For my friends, they are going to come to see. I heard your sing later. May the Lord use you. Friends, I'm happy to be here. Let's open the Bible now. I would like everyone to open their scriptures. Open the hard copy. Open the iPhone if it has a Bible. Open Samsung. Open Techno, no problem. Open Infinix. Oh, infi what? Infinix. Infinix. Please open your Bible. Because all of us are going to read. Over. You have to read. And I'm happy for this church. Please, I'm asking you. Do not bring projection in this church. Let people read their Bible. Amen. Amen. Church elders, don't bring eh? <laughs> The book of 2 Kings. The book of 2 Kings. Are we there? We are waiting for you. 2 Kings. If you are, say, sorry, if you are there, say Amen. 
Niba uhageze uvuga kuti amen. Chapter 6. Gice cya gatandatu from verse 11. Kuva ku murongo wa 11. Actually we can start from verse 8. Ndetse wenda mu byukuri twatangirira ku murongo wa 8. Friends I am going to read. Chuti zanje wongiye gusoma. And he is going to read. Kandi nawe agiye gusoma. And you are going to read. Kandi mugiye gusoma namwe. Let's go. Eka tugende. Second Kings. Kitabo cya kabiri cy'ibyo ku ngoma. Chapter 6. Gice cya gatandatu. Igitabo cya kabiri cy'abami mumbabarire. Eh yego. Igitabo cya kabiri cy'abami. Iyo ngiyo yego yego. Yes. Ah karabaye. Now. Are we together? Mbese turi kumwe. Chapter 6. Gice cya gatandatu from verse 8. Guhera ku murongo wa 8. The Bible says now the king of Syria was making war against Israel. And he consulted with servants saying, My camp will be in such and such a place. Verse 9. And the man of God sent to the king of Israel saying, Beware that you do not pass this place. For the Syrians are coming down there. Then the king of Israel sent someone to the place. Of which the man of God had told him. Thus he warned him. And he and he was watchful there. Not just once. Or twice. Verse 11. Therefore. The heart of the king of Syria was greatly troubled by this thing. And he called his servants. And said to them. Will you not show me. Which one of us. Umunuachu is for the king of Israel. We for Tanishanu Mami of Assyria, what is Rayeri? Verse twelve. Nongwachum in a cabiri. Turicume. Turicume. Okay. And one of his servants said, Umemu Bagara Guber Mugirati, none, my lord. O Yenagasanim Mami, O king. Nagasanim Mami, or Elisha the prophet, a who gets some Hanu, who is in Israel. Tells the king of Israel the words that you speak in your bedroom. Eh. Eh. So he said, Go and see where he is. That I may send and get him. And it was told him, saying, Surely. Ari, he is in Dothan. Idotani. Therefore, Aherako, he sent the horses farashi, and chariots na magare, and a great army there. Nyinshi, and they came by night and surrounded the city. Mudugudu, and when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, maze there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And his servant said to him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? So he answered. And that is where our key text came from. Do not fear. For those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Amen. 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 And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and his soul. And behold, Abona, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. So when the Syrians 
came down Zanga to the Jezeyo, Elisha prayed to the Lord Elisa and said Ati, strike these people I pray with blindness and he struck them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. We take a hera cause whom a mass we are reading the last verse. It would be better we go to 23, but because of time, let's read 19. Now, now Elisha said to them, This is not the way, nor is this the city. Can you see what Follow me. And I will bring you to the man whom you seek. But he led them to Samaria. May the Lord bless the reading. We are praying. Father in heaven. You alone are the author of the scripture. We human beings read. But in our own wisdom, we cannot understand, not even interpret. And that's why, Lord, for these few minutes, Father, we ask for your presence. May you help us understand the scripture. And may you help us live a according to the scripture. May I decrease as you increase for we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Friends, you have a few minutes. The message, the message this morning says in the context of the text that we read it says you are not on your own. You are not on your own. Now I want us to pay attention. I did not say you are not alone. There is a difference between you are not on your own and you are not alone. Listen, when someone says I am alone. That means he is able to control the circumstances. It is within the power of humanity. But when we say you are on your own or you are not on your own, it brings out the aspect of ownership. So my brother, when I say you are not alone it means maybe you have friends around you or maybe someone is walking with you but when I say that you are not on your own that means there is someone who owns you someone who is in charge of your life and affairs is there a difference? let me help you understand you know man when you are single you feel like you are alone is that true? hello 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 my elder even in marriage, no mubukwe, even though the wife is there, no go and mugore, sometimes you may feel you are alone. True or false? You can go somewhere where there are many people. And you feel like oh, there are many people here, but Ariko, I'm still alone. You may be in a relationship. But you are alone. Eh? And you are still lonely. But when we say you are not on your own, even when you are sad, even when you are single, even when you are sick and suffering, we say someone is in charge of your life. Friends, you are not on your own. Sometimes say, oh, I'm lonely, let me, I'm lonely, let me get, let me get a girlfriend. 
Ushobora kuvuga kuti mfite irungu reka nshake umukobwa w'inshuti yanje. After 2 weeks. Maze nyuma y'ibyumweru bibiri. You still discover you are lonely. Nubundi ukisanga uri umwe. Say yeah. I'm lonely when I get money. Ukavuga kuti ndu umwe. I have a big house. Nimbo na mafaranga nkagira inzu nziza. Pati 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 pati. Nkategura ibirori ibirori ibirori. I think I'll Nzumva hari uko bigenze after that nyimaze nyuma y'icyo gihe you still feel alone nubundi ukumvuri wenyine but when god is your father ariko iyo imana ari so even when you are suffering nubwo wababaye you are not on your own ntabwo ubari wowe ubwawe so the message this morning says rero ubutumwa muri iki gitondo you are not on your own buravuga ngo ntabwo ari wowe ubwawe you are not on your own ntabwo ari wowe ubwawe not on your own talks about ownership Harimo ko hari umuntu ugushinzwe The one who owns us is permanent. Umuntu turi nyirawe kandi uhoraho giteka. This person is not temporal. Uyu muntu ntabwo ari umuntu w'igihe gito. I want us to go back to the verses that we read. Ndashaka gusubira mu mirongo twasomye. In this story friends. Muri iyi nkuru nshuti Elisha Elisa with his servant. Bible study that servant some of us say it's Gehazi that servant is not Gehazi bamwe baravuga bati uyu mugaragu ni Gehazi ariko ntabwo ari Gehazi don't confuse uyo nguyo uyo uyo uwo nguwo uyo nguyo uyo nguyo ntabwo ari Gehazi uyu ntabwo ari Gehazi rwose so don't some preachers say guys no it is not Gehazi hari bamwe bavuga ko ari Gehazi ariko siwe they were in a situation bari bageze mu gihe and here is the background Kandi hano turakibwiwe. The Syrians had been fighting with the Israelites. Abasiriya bari bamaze igihe barwana n'abisirayeli. But the king of Israel discovered something. Ariko umwami w'abisirayeli aza kuvumbura ikintu. That every time he was working on a strategic plan. Buri gihe cyose yabaga ari mategura to attack the children of Israel. Eh kutera ingabo z'abisirayeli. Somehow Haru uburyo somehow haru uburyo they knew before it happened babimenyaga mbere yuko biba and the king was troubled kandi umwami agahagari ku mutima gute akavuga ati ni gute what is happening here mbese birimo biragenda bite hey, my, he called a meeting agahamagaza inama and he says my people come here akavuga ati bantu banje muze hano ooh mbese ninde muri twe works for the king of israel ukorera Umwami wabisirayeli how come whatever we plan kuko bigenda gutenga ibintu byose duteguye they know babimenya someone said king umuntu akavuga ati mwami let me tell you reka nkubwire nabwo ari twebwe i know in rwanda right nzi kinya rwanda sibyo amen he says king it is not us akavuga ati sitwe rwose but there is a man of god called elisha ahubwo hari umuntu witwe elisa he tells the king everything. <laughs> he tells the king of Israel everything even what you say in your bedroom. Ubwira umwami wa Israeli ibintu byose ndetse n'ibyo uvugira mu cyumba cyawe uryamamo. Now listen to me friends. Munyumve bavandimwe. Here is the lesson friends. Hano hari isomo nshuti. The lesson that comes out of that message. Isomo riva muri ubutumwa the God we serve. Imana dukorera he knows everything azibyo izibyo so when we serve this god iyo dukore iyo mana who is our creator mbese ni imana umuremyi wacu because he knew yesterday kandi izi ejo hashize he knows tomorrow izi ejo hazaza he knows the future izi hazaza we can't be afraid ntabwo dushobora gutinya we are yero. not on our own kuko ntabwo ari tukubwacu umva listen this this god imana <laughs> He knows what the enemy is planning against you in his bedroom. Is it yo abanzi bagutegurira mu byumba bararamo? Is the God that owns you? Kuko ni imana uri nyirayo. Now listen. Munyumve. Some of us pray. Let me come down one minute. Some of us pray. Eh bamwe muri twe barasenga reka nze hepfo aho. Some of us pray say God. Barasenga bati imana. I want a car. Ndashaka imodoka. I want these and these. Ndashaka iki na kiriya. I want to tell you today when you pray. Ndashaka kukubwira uyu munsi nusenga. You tell God, ubwira Imana. You God, you know me better than I know myself. Imana ubwira irakuzi kuruta uko wiyizi. May your will be done. Wibwira uti ibyo ushaka bibeho. Give me what I deserve. Ngaho mpicyo nkeneye, icyo nkwiriye. You are praying to graduate from Kist. 
Urashaka gusengera kugaradiwa guhabwa impamya bumenyi muri Kristo. God is saying no 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 stay there for 20 years. Imani kavuga ngo oya hagume imyaka 20. Because God knows that at the end of 20 years. Ukimana iziko kumpera y'imyaka 20. Something great will happen. Hari ikintu gikomeye kizabaho. Listen, you are not on your own. Nyumva neza so ugawe ndakwibutsa our father in heaven. Yuko ari imana yacu yo mwijuru. He knows us better than you know yourself. Iratuzi kurenza uko twiza ubwacu. So from that message? Kandi muri buri abutumwa. When you pray. Nusenga. Don't tell God God. Wibwira Imana ngo mana. I need. Ndashaka tall dark and handsome. Hansa ndashaka ikintu iki cyangwa kiriya. Don't tell God I need a job like this. Wibwira ngo ndashaka kano kazi cyangwa kariya. Tell God. Gira Imana since you know tomorrow. Ngo kuko uzi ejo hazaza. Since you know me. Kuko unzi may your will be done. Ibyushaka bibeho. And so the man says. Kandi umuntu arakavuga ngo There's a man of God called Elisha. Hari ima hari umuntu w'Imana witwa Elisa. He knows everything even what you speak in your bedroom. Azi ikintu cyose ndetse n'ibyo uvugira mu buriri bwa. And because and because of that. Kandi kubwibyo the king says umwami akavuga ngo oya he sent people to look for Elisha. Maza kohereza abantu guhiga Elisa. They told him Elisha is in a place called Dotham. Maze abantu bakavuga bati Elisa ari ahantu hitwa Dotani. Now listen. Ni mwumve. How do you send soldiers, chariots, horses to capture one man? Ukohereza abasirikare amagare n'amafarashi ko gufata umuntu umwe? Of course my elder, if the man knows what you plan in your bedroom, you have to send everyone. Bakuru bitorero imana ibizi cyo mupangira mu. So the Bible says Bibiri iravuga ngo there was somewhere in a place called Dothan. Hari umuntu wari uri ahantu hitwa Dothani. I was reading. Nasozan so much. Abasirikare babasiriya baje mu ijoro. And surrounded the place. Maze bagotaho hantu. When they suffered, you know, of course, boss, between you and your mukozi we Se hagati yawe n'umukozi wa mu boss we ndindu byuka kare. Ah. Nindu byuka mbere. It depends. Now. So the mukozi wakes up in the morning. He goes out. Maze ageze hanze aratangara. Arareba ati e e e e e e. Says boss. Ati boss. 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 But I want you to pay attention, right? Ndashaka ko twitonda. Pay attention. Twitonde. Check in your Bible. Murebe muri Bibiliya zanyu. Elisha did not answer the question after coming outside. Elisa ntabwo yigeze asubiza icyo kibazo amaze gusohoka hanze. Your house boy tells you boss, boss, ari bibazo hano hanze. The boss did not come outside. Ntabwo boss yigeze asohoka. He answered from inside the house. Ahubwo yashubije ari mu nzu. Hey, do not fear man, it's okay. Ati witinya wa muntu we nta kibazo. I'm sure the mukozi was like hey. Nizeye ko umukozi yakomeje gutangara. You've not seen you're just answering. Ati wowe ntabwo ureba ibiriho urimo rasubiza gusa. The man of God had faith. Ariko umuntu w'Imana yaratuje. When you have faith. Iyo ufite kwizera. You do not need to wait for what is there. Ntabwo ugomba gutegereza ibiriho. You do not need to see. Ntugomba kureba. You believe. Because you know that you are not on your own. So, people say, "Hey, hey, hey, umva they are going to fire people. Maze bakavuga bati bagiye kurasa abantu. Who are they going to fire? HR. Who are you going to fire? No, no, no. Bati ninde mugiye kurasa ninde mugiye kurasa. Say oh um eh oh at at uh, Notre Notre what? Eh? What's the name of the school? Uh, for the, for for Javelin. Mbese ishuri rya Javelin ne biga muri gitwa ngo iki? Please forgive my fault. Eh? Okay. Mumbarire kuvuga igifaransa cyanjye mbese ni Notre ki? When God is your God. Iyo imana ari imana yawe when there's people when there's a room of people have failed exam people are doing badly abantu batsindwa ibizame kandi abantu bakora nabi come see people are failing ngwino urebe uko abantu batekereza it's okay i'm fine wowe tekereza ngo nta kibazo mfite because i am not on my own kuko si kubwanje when you are kissed and things go wrong iyo ni muri kiste maze ibintu bikagenda nabi let me tell you faith is not sight ntabwo kwizera bishingira kubyo tubona faith is not sight ntabwo kwizera bishingira kubyo tureba we walk by faith we not Christo, by sight tugenda dukurikije kwizera ntabwo dukurikije so ibyo tureba Elisha did not come outside Elisa ntiyagombye gusohoka he just said ahubwo yaravuze ngo young man 
Do not fear. For those who are with us. Are more than those who are with them. Listen. So, second point. I want to make a point, my elder. As, as, as Christians, as Christians, we have no point. We have no business discussing the devil. Do you know him? Let me repeat that again. As Christians, we have no business discussing the devil. Do you know in theology schools? We say we don't discuss the devil. Do you know why? We don't know him. Do you know him? So why do you waste time? Say, oh, they are going to fire me. Oh, I have no food. Kuchi wati jihufuga ngoba jie kunda saba jie kunyi rukana na habidi jomfite. Because what you do, you are discussing what the devil is able to do. Ichu wuri mukora, wuri mo uga ni rakubi nusata na shawara gukora. I'm going, I'm going to die. Ukavu kutinji e gupfa. So when look, I'm a picture. I want you to have a picture, right? The devil is there and God is here. Ebi shushani mumutwe wa awe sata na dihari ani mani dihari ya. In your life, my elder, who are you praising? Who are you praising in your life? Because when you wake up in the morning, I have no school fees. I am sick. I'm going to die. I have no boyfriend. I have no wife. Who are you praising? Who are you praising? Listen, as Christians, we have no business discussing the devil. Because when the, the servant came outside, instead of seeing deliverance, he was seeing problems. So what do you see? Do you see deliverance or you see problems? You wake up in the morning, eh, cash power and I do fit. Eh, amazi. Ukabjuka mujiton uti cash power na yo na amazi na yo. Listen. Eka tufugichi. You are not on your own, brother. Nabgo arikubgawe. You should be seeing God's presence. Ushobara ugomba kuwa na imani arikumge na yo. God's deliverance. Imana igutawara. So what comes out of your mouth? Should be something like this. Ah, we are going to pay school fees. Ah, to die ku ishira mina rivari. I'll get a good boyfriend. Nzawa numu kungu mizada dukunda. I am going to get a job. Njia kuwa na kazi. Not. Oh, ari kujewe. I am from Gororero. Am I going to get a job? Na abgaru kuwa angari kusu ujewe. Ubu njia kuzawa na kazi. I know. Na mununfite. I know no one. Oh. Ukavugu tina mununfite. No. Oh yeah. See the deliverance of God. Because you are not on your own. And so Elisha prayed. And he said, Father, may you open the eyes of this young man. And when his eyes were open, friend. Hey, 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 hey. Hey? He discovered that there were more Angels of heaven. Protecting Elisha and him more than those who are with the Assyrians. Friends, may the Lord open your spiritual eyes. May you see that you're not on your own. When you walk in Kist there. May you see that you're not on your own. In your family, may you notice that you are not on your own. And so Elisha prays in verse 17 and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. And when the Lord opened his eyes, the young man saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire. All, all around Elisha. And so friends, may the Lord open our eyes. 
Imana ni ifungure imitima yacu. That we can see deliverance. Maze tubone gutabarwa. And not problems. Hiturebe ibibazo gusa. That you can see God's ability to save and protect. Kugira ngo tubone ubushobozi bw'Imana bwo kudukiza no kuturinda. And not what the devil brings to us. Hiturebe ibyo Satani atuza naho. Because we have no business discussing the devil. Kuko nta mishinga dufite yo kuganira kuri Satani. We discuss God because he is our father. Tuvuga Imana kuko ari data. Ah, let's continue. Reka dukomeze. Friends. Chuti then Elisha prayed. It is Sarah saying, when the when the army of Assyrians were coming down to attack, Elisha prayed and said, it is Sarah saying that in verse 18, he said, Lord, strike this people with blindness. Uh, amen. Amen. Let me tell you, friends. When you trust the Lord. And you know that you're not on your own. God does wonderful things. Do you know what happened? The army came with the spears. You know spear? Do you know spear? Do you know spears? Do you know arrows? Do you know what happened? Oh, the Bible is so wonderful. So what happened? After Elisha prayed, God struck them with blindness. So they came with the weapons to attack. The spear, you know spear? They were supposed to kill Elisha with a spear. It became a walking stick. Listen, when you trust in God, <laughs> so it became a walking stick. But that is not the end of story. The person they were coming to attack says, hey, come, this is the way. <laughs> no, 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 not there. Hey, no, 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 come, come. The person they were coming to attack now they are blind. Is now saying, hey, please. Uh. <laughs> Come this way. The weapons they are supposed to use to attack him. They'd become a walking stick. Friends, you are not on your own. You need to believe you are not on your own. And when you understand that you're not on your own, and you experience God's deliverance, you have to lead others in the right place. Now, let's read the Bible. Something interesting. Can you open your Bible? Are we there? We we are in verse 19. If you are there, say amen. My elder, the only one saying amen. If you eh? or oh, in this church, it is the responsibility of the church leader to say amen on your behalf. If you have verse 19, say amen. Okay. Friends, verse 19. Shutizanje, muna wa chumi ni chenda. This is very interesting. Uratangashe chane. Now Elisha say to them. Elisa, arazib girati. This is not the way. Isi on zira. Nor this is not the city. Kandi, uyusi wa mudugudu. Listen, I wish I had time. I would have talked about that for one hour, but there's no time. But here is the point, friends. When we know that our Father is our God, and we trust in Him all the time, whether in troubles or in good times, He delivers us. 
Aradukiza. And when he does, kandi yabikoze, we have to lead the rest in the right way. Tubatugomba kuyobora abandi mu nzira y'ukuri. This is not the way. Yaravuza ati si yo nzira. Now we when we receive the blessings of the law. Iyo twakiriye imigisha iva ku mana. When we receive deliverance we have to guide us in the right, others in the right way. And so the man says, this is not the way. Now let me tell you, how many of us here will help our enemies? Elisha was not the one who could be there laughing like, <laughs> Please go, go fall and die. God has called us to be his messengers. God has called us to be his messengers. Even when people plan bad things for us, we have to show them the way. Say the way is not gossiping. The way is not gossiping. The way is not fighting. The way is not cheating. This is, this is the way. And friends, when the Lord has shown us light, now listen to me. People think that being powerful, authority, money, resources, when they are living in Kigali and everywhere, when they live in Nyarutarama, in Kagugu, Kagugu, in Rusororo, Rusororo, they feel like ah, we are okay. Tell them, this life Ubuzima is not the way. And Elisha says to them, this is not the way. And this is not the city. Because when we belong to God, we are going to a better city. Built by God. And Elisha says, Come. Now listen to me again, friends. Elisha said, Number one. This is not the way. Number two. This is not the city. But most importantly, number three. He said, I am not the man. I am not the man. Now listen, Elisha said, Come, I take you to the man. This man who is making all these things possible. So listen friends, when the Lord glorifies you, you don't just thumb and say, Ninjewe. When you pass in school and you are so successful, when you are, when, when you are getting better and better in life, don't say, I'm the one. Tell them, please. I am not the one. I am not the man. Come, I show you the man. And Elisha led them. But you know what happens finally, friends? When they get to Samaria, when you, when you go to verse 20, 20 until verse 23. When, so Elisha led them to, the, to Samaria. When they go to Samaria, it. And the Bible say. Now listen to me. Now imagine, now imagine after that, they, their eyes, their eyesight was restored. They were not blind again. So imagine that soldier who was blind. Soldier said, King, I resort to Congo and he says he's going to be in security. Mazagasubira Muri Congo, a minister, you shins, where you take a nipjo. Damugra and nipjo. He said, Yeah, go nipjo. I asked him why he said, Because I'm not on my own. And I forgot to nipjo, Kukon have Gariku Ganji. Friends, may the Lord open your eyes. Shutizanje, we take an afungu, rabbit. May you see, may you see God's deliverance. But remember, when God delivers you, 
but to you. Because love wins. Love conquers the world. I want to pray with someone now. I'm done. With someone that says, Lord, where I work, where I study, in my home, I feel like I'm on my own. And I want to pray that may God open your spiritual eyes. May you from today walk by faith and not by sight. May you see God's deliverance. Let me see by show of hands. Those who say from today, I will say from today. Amen. Amen.